Hey, so silly past John forgot to actually do this before I did everything I've just done. So I have to like redo this now for the beginning of the video. So if you didn't get it from the title already, I had the really cool opportunity to go to Berklee College of Music where I went to school and teach the sessions, uh, the guitar sessions program that they had going today, subbing in for one of my old professors and it was completely awesome. So it's going to pick up once I get there. I'm, I was on my way to go to Boston and meet up with John Finn and Steve Finn, my two good friends. And uh, yeah, and enjoy. Just parked. I am on the elevator on my way to get lunch with John Finn and Steve Finn. Very excited to be here. John and Steve. People. People. World. World. People. You know, tuning up. Tuning up. Tuning up. Playing with the Drifters today. And John has his nice rig here. And uh, oh boy, we're going to do a rig rundown. Premier guitar, eat your heart out. Eat your heart out. <laughs> That's pretty safe, dude. Is that <laughs> They're sound checking right now. City Hall Plaza in Boston today playing a, sort of a pickup gig with a band called The Drifters, famous in the late 1950s, early 1960s. Um, this is, uh, <laughs> this is Anthony Vitti over here playing bass. Okay, so the rig I'm using, well for this gig I'm going to use a Fender Telecaster because stylistically it's really kind of the thing you want. And I play a lot of tunes in this gig where I'm sort of playing. So I mean, like the Strat, like the Kelly gets like a real clucky kind of a sound. So I sort of like that. Okay, Woo. so now the rig I'm playing through is the Fractal Audio Axe FX 2 XL. And um, it's basically an amp modeler and a uh, multi-effects processor. Extra so, large and in charge. Um, so, so I'm playing so my plug my guitar direct, direct into the uh, Axe effects, and there's a power amp underneath it by a company called Matrix, which has uh, 250 watts per channel, um, and that gets sent to these two speakers. Okay? So stereo. In stereo. So now, everything is controlled down here by my foot pedal. Um, now, the Fractal Audio has, has a mode called Reveal, where what you do is you call up a single preset and then you can do variations within the preset. So all these different buttons here, uh, so it allow me to turn off in, uh, on and off individual uh, stomp boxes, where the bottom row allows me to set certain scenes, okay? So then, so, so the first scene is going to be just clean. of overdrive. Right? And the third scene is it's all well, all within the same preset. So this has choruses and long delays. Right? Then rock rhythm. Press the pedal down, so you can hear the delays. 
that's pretty cool. Okay. The middle one is guava. So. Do you have it set position? Yes. Yeah. No, it's so, the, uh, Oh, speed. Triangle. Yeah. Then. The, the 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 last one is a master volume. Pretty sick. And that's yeah, like, her little, so that's uh, that's all within one preset. All I have to do to get there is I call up my own preset that I wrote called John Stereo 3 and then press the reveal button. So pressing the real reveal button allows me to switch between these scenes, which just changes settings in the preset without calling up a new preset. Nice. So very cool. Nice. Yeah, that's the that's the very convenient feature, the scenes. Yeah. Check out Fractal Audio stuff, man. It's yeah. Pretty good. All right. Woo, thank you. Thank Don. you.
So we clowned around yesterday, but today is the day where I actually get my go at teaching at Sessions at Berkeley. So it's 7.30 in the morning. I have woken up in Casa de Finn, this is the house of the Finns, and uh, currently in Steve's apartment, rocking out. And getting ready to go so we'll see yo so you know the best part about like me doing this steve i'm with steve finn by the way we're Hello. heading our way to, to Liebberg. the best part is like i have like like i think a buck 60 subscribers thank you guys by the way but like i don't really have a following where like i call them anything you know what i mean like yeah. I'm, it's not like oh what's you up giving them names yeah yet. you know what i mean i don't think they want them you know what i mean like minions <laughs> the minions john barry john and the berries john and the Bar that was a, one of my kids groups at the summer camp i did call themselves that because i was like you should be john and the berries and they were yeah. shout out to john and the berries i appreciate you guys so yeah man we're on our way to berkeley doing our thing dude saw some stuff on our drive here i gotta tell you boston driving may be just as hectic as manhattan driving and uh this guy He's like the Liam Neeson of driving. He, he gets, you know, he has a particular set of skills. I will find you. <laughs> and I will get you there. And I will cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys soon. What time are you out? What time am I out? Four o'clock, Stefan. Stefan Finn. Step in, Finn. Dude. Old school, man. never showed up and then Boom. First two done. Now lunch. And we'll get to finish this up. It looks like from where I'm teaching. This is the back area. The kids will be sitting there. Four, two amps. Oh, yeah. I mean, I call that finished. That is finished. It's finished. Yeah, that's we finished. did a thing. We, we did, did a thing. We did the thing. We did the thing. And we're back. Okay, so now, post. There's a lot of things that happened that I didn't get a chance to show you guys because I was actually using my phone while I was teaching. But, uh, oh, dude, was that not awesome? I got to go hang out with John Finn and Steve Finn. John was playing with the Drifters, who would have ever guessed, and got to hang out with Steve. We got to watch John play a really great show. Uh, I met some of the classes that I was going to be teaching uh, during the day before we went and did that. Uh, John, Steve, Julie and company, thank you all so very much for being so such generous hosts and being so kind and generous and letting me crash with you guys. While well, I came all the way from New York to go to Boston, it was an awesome time. I loved every second of it. I hope we get to do it again. I hope you guys come here. I owe you. Um, then we woke up, me and Steve made our way to Boston. Uh, went to go to the sessions and oh my goodness. Let me tell you, I never knew in my life that I would enjoy teaching as much as I do. I never thought when I was in school, I never thought that I would be like somebody who was like, yep, yeah, I enjoy no, teaching. Dude, I loved it. It was awesome. I got to meet so many great people today and talented young musicians that were just fantastic. Leaps and bounds where I was when I was their age. These were high school kids uh, doing a program at Berkeley and they were all amazing. Super easy to work with. I don't know if you guys are ever going to be watching this video, but if you happen to stumble across this, it was awesome getting to work with each and every one of you. You all sounded Also great. got to see some familiar faces too. On the streets, I ran into Tom Appleman. And Tom, if you're watching this, you like have defeated Father Time. This man never changes, I'm telling you. And I got to see Colin Sapp. Colin Sapp was also one of my uh, teachers at Berkeley. And it was awesome getting to run into him, hanging out, getting some lunch. Um, it's it, it, was, it was really cool being back in the city being away since I graduated and it was you know it was, it was it was nice it feels it feels like home now because you know what I mean at this point I have my bearings in Boston and it was really it was a really fun time I would totally do it again you know, I think the most amazing thing about being a musician or or being me the most amazing thing about being me if I could be you know self-centered for a second is that I am surrounded by so many amazing people that help inspire me try to be the best I could be 
at all times. <laughs> like, you know, whether it's my students that I see weekly or people at in public that are playing or my peers, people that are working, my, my teachers, you know, old or current, like, guys just inspire me so much. And it's, it's just great being in a community where like, it's a great thing being an artist because I feel like we all are in, you know, in the state of mind that we're all in it together and we're all supporting each other and we're all just having a blast doing it. It is a really, really good fun life. And I know I did a vlog a couple of weeks ago about should you go to Berkeley? This only solidifies what in I said. your power to do so, I would highly recommend you go to Berkeley College of Music. Guys, that wraps up vlog number two. Uh, I had a really fun time making it. There was a music video that I made that was planned for today, but I figured this was fresh, so I might as well talk about it now, if anybody's ever interested. Uh, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for the support. If you're new to this channel, hey, why don't you check out some other videos? I have some really cool music stuff that I do. I play guitar. I even tried singing a couple of times, and I do some piano. And I have really awesome friends that have joined me on this channel and uh, have helped make some really great music with me. And all uh, suggestions are welcome for future videos. If you have a song that you'd like to see me do, uh, please feel free to drop a comment down below. And uh, yeah, okay, I've had a really long <laughs> two days. I think I'm gonna go take a shower. I've been John, I will see you all on Monday.